Hi, welcome to Simply Single. Welcome back if this isn't your first time. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. My name is Sango and I do makeup, lifestyle, music, and some other stuff. I finally hit my first 100 subscribers. It's been five months, five whole months since I started YouTube. It's a slow growth. But it's a strong quality. I'm really thankful and grateful that that we've come this far, and I really hope that we continue to grow further. Group hug, virtual hug, but like you know, six feet away because we're still in the middle of a pandemic that doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. It's been about a month and some change since I've moved back in with my parents and my sister, basically my family. And um, prior to that, I was living with my boyfriend and I have dedicated a lot of time and good positive energy into creating this room. I look sloppy. Let me straighten my back real quick. Oof, my booty's sweating. Since it is the bedroom, we are going to start off with my bed. Ta-da! This is what it looks like. It's pretty big and it occupies a lot of space. Yeah, I've had this bed for about 10 years now. It's a queen size bed. Let me go into details. I got these pillows first of all the pillows are from ikea i got two different types um the back one is like the hard type which is good for when you're lying on your shoulder or on your back it, it supports your neck so that it doesn't squish your shoulder and then i have the soft type which is basically like my hugging pillow and um you use it I guess you're supposed to use it when you're lying on your stomach and you just need that support for your chin. Um, but the reason why I got the pillows from Ikea was because I found these pillowcases and the bed sheets from H&M and which was kind of a miracle because I, for some reason, I got so hooked onto like this caramel brown rusty red kind of color and yeah I stumbled across across the sheets and the pillowcases on H&M but the only place that had the 50 times 60 pillows were on Ikea so basically I got the pillowcases and the pillows from Ikea and H&M which I was like why why are they selling like 50 times 60 pillowcases when most of the pillows in Japan aren't even that size um, my friend told me that both of those companies are from Sweden and duh and I was like oh yeah of course of course Sango this beige pillowcase actually is from Ikea and also the little bed sheets and this little blanket right here is like pretty textured and it just looked too bulky and it looks like it takes up a lot of space so I really wanted something white at the bottom to kind of make an effect that I have a lot of space right here and that's how the bed is this lamp is also from Ikea but it's like a bed stand lamp I fell in love with it um, on the shelves at Ikea while you know they have you walking up and down like you're walking in a in a maze and I found this one but then it was a bit expensive so I was like I gave up but when I went to the outlet corner they had this beautiful untouched one for sale so I picked it up and basically I use this I really like warm tone light so I use this at night time moving on to the bedside table this is Ella the POTUS POTUS and my bedside table nothing much um, I do want to introduce this candle from Diptyque it is just lovely it's um, the Tokyo limited version of candle and it just smells like when you walk into a shrine so if you're into shrines and stuff I definitely recommend and then we have Miss Naomi Campbell I don't usually buy fashion magazines but I really love this one that's the book section where I keep most of my books um, these baskets 
This was the hardest thing to find. It was like, um, I really had a specific type of basket I wanted and it had to fit in this square shelf. And I really wanted to put like two of them for anything. But my mom actually took me to this furniture store called Shimachu Homes and the perfect basket. The basket color just matches everything and I am, um, I fell in love and I bought it right there and then. What? Moving on to the next thing is my quote unquote closet. This is not necessarily a closet. It's actually a section of a Japanese style room where they put, um, what's it called? Like this long posters and stuff like that. I'll put the picture but um, basically I use this as the closet and I also got this rack so I just fit this Is that a mosquito? I found a mosquito No Die mosquito This rack was actually from the same place I got the basket from and it's just like the perfect fit Like look at that, I apologize for the darkness but it's like the perfect fit I know it's a bit messy but I keep all my bags in here all the big stuff that I don't want to be wrinkled up into the drawer. And then I also have in this corner my workout basket, my little jump ropes, my yoga mat, a smaller yoga mat, um, my dumbbells, my weights and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. So as I mentioned, this bedroom is basically a Japanese style bedroom. So technically the flooring is all tatami it's not really hiding well but it's tatami okay uh, how am i supposed to explain what tatami is like tatami is tatami is that that flooring thing that bamboo-ish flooring thing that's like sewn together and like gets moldy easily basically just really hard to take care of so what i did was i got this flooring from rock 10 and rolled it on I had my dad help me with it so I basically have like this fluffy white flooring I really wanted white flooring again with the same reason as the bed blanket it makes your room seems a little bit more bigger spacious than it actually is Anyways, the next section of my room that I'll be talking about is this little corner hi my full length mirror I think my dad also got this like most of the things in here are just used stuff and I really like that because I'm really trying to leave a lighter carbon footprint on this planet I'm trying to encourage myself to use more used stuff instead of just buying things that aren't necessary you know another man's trash is another's treasure it actually had like white frames but um, I really wanted to go with the whole vintage gold vibes, which you can find here and there in my room. So yeah, I had to sandpaper the whole white paint off and repaint it into that goldish vintage color. These are my baby plants. That's Stella in the back. She doesn't have a name yet. These elephants as well is another household item i would say that i really really love i love elephants they really represent like strength but wisdom I also got this from the second hand and app it's called mercari if you're wondering they really have some cool stuff if you look deeply it's like a thrift store these were originally reddish brown but i yeah painted them gold as well and right next to it ha is my vinyl box and my magazine box. I have my chest, my drawer. I basically have all my clothes in, that in those drawers and stuff. And on top of it is my little, what is this? A shrine? I don't know. But um, I got this little Buddha painting. I don't know if it's a painting or a sculpture but um i got this at a thai fest thailand festival in yoyogi park and i just fell in love with it in front of that we have some flowers i changed this from time to time another 
what's it called crystal perfume and my sages but it's and like a sage burner holder thingy I got it from Etsy it's really pretty let me move these real quick it's a lotus and it has the same vintage gold vibes that I wanted to stick to um, the shop that I bought it from is called copper drift and yet yeah, it's just really adorable um, behind all that we have this lovely it's not a painting it's actually um, what is it it's a piece of cloth that you're supposed to put on your head but I fell in love with this energy this like this poise energy these women have and yeah it's a it's African print and I bought this uh, in Nagoya at a Jamaica festival and in front of that is my infamous record player um, yeah I made sure to match the brown dark dark brown wood yeah it's just like those tiny details that I really make sure I put into this room and also this gold this vintage gold thing again we have on my vinyl player Top we have my little vanity slash workspace slash video editing space slash food coffee yeah i really wanted a caramel brown leather chair it's not real leather it's on rakuten which is another like amazon website here in japan and yeah the vanity now let me rest my booty on this chair for the vanity i got these two pieces the drawer and the table the desk at ikea i really wanted to stick with the dark wood theme and that's what i got i have all my lipsticks and mascaras and all that shenanigans right here my brushes right here another baby plant right here her name is bella i think I do have an incense, what's it called? An oil burner? This is also from the secondhand app store, but it's originally from Body Shop. Again, the vintage gold vibes. One tip, I don't put oil in it. I actually put candle. The candle that I have in my closet, uh, it's already finished, so I actually scraped out the remaining some of the remains and I put it in here so that I can recycle my candle for the longest of time I guess so that's for my vanity I think um, this trash bin I really love because um, especially when you're doing your makeup and you don't want to get your hands messy and you don't want like an open mouth bin in your bedroom I really like this. I mean, that's a lot of trash in there I need to change, but um, it has this steppy thing so you can open it without your hand and you also can like throw things away from in here. So I really like this. I got this from Don Quixote. Sure. And finally, I have my skincare rack, which is kind of so um, all this limited space, it was, I was praying that this fits but I made it work it fits um, it basically has like first aid kits like first aid stuff like pills baby oil I don't know if baby oils are like first aid kits but basically like alcohol and stuff down there we have some other random stuff like really random stuff that I barely use and on the top shelf we have my skincare thingies but yeah and these right here are my electronics okay that is it for um the bedroom tour thank you for sticking around um if there's anything that caught your eye that i didn't explain please let me know in the comment section and i'll try my best to answer it um although i did a lot of intentional putting together and stuff i am nowhere close to an interior designer so disclaimer i know it's a late one but disclaimer okay um but basically what i did was i you know put together a mood board on pinterest and instagram saved a lot of pictures and i tried to you know make my own version out of it as much as possible and this is the results i got and i'm really proud of it um because the first time I attempted to make my own bedroom, like design my own bedroom, it, it was just, as I said, chocolate strawberry land. 
so yeah I'm really proud of what the outcome was but that is it for today's video and I hope I get to see you in the next one in the meantime if you haven't watched my other videos please feel free to watch them catch up and if you even if you feel even more in the mood to please subscribe hit that like button share and I will we'll see you next time bye